coming to paperback and e-readers from SJS Direct. Isis, House of Isis, the goddess next door, takes on a hustling hotep high priestess in Harlem in this Afrocentric Isis series adventure. Pre-order Isis, House of Isis on Amazon.com today. I was watching a Mr. Superboy video at the library on Friday where he talked about how this prosecutor in the Bill Cosby sexual assault trial managed to secure the testimony of five women who were not allowed to testify in the original sexual assault trial due to the fact that their testimony would be considered hearsay. Now it's clear to me that the judge and the prosecutor in the Bill Cosby sexual assault trial are trying to stack the deck in order to secure Bill Cosby's conviction. However, while this racist prosecutor and judge are playing checkers, the women who are a part of the Me Too and Time's Up movement are playing chess. And they're using this prosecutor and this judge as pawns towards gaining access at a checkmate, which will allow them to get access to resources from wealthier white men in Hollywood. And because these racists are so caught up in trying to destroy Bill Cosby's legacy and Bill Cosby's image, they don't see the bigger picture as related to destroying the rights of men, regardless of their race. Because what a Bill Cosby sexual assault conviction will do is it will establish a legal precedent in court that these women are going to use as the stepping stone to launch an onslaught of lawsuits against men of all races for allegations of sexual assault and sexual harassment. Moreover, they will be filing lawsuits against corporations for sexual assault and sexual harassment. And this onslaught of lawsuits, what it's going to do is it's going to be used as a on, as assault to try to get access to resources. And it will be used as a way to further curtail men's rights in America. But because these racists are so caught up in their hatred and contempt for Bill Cosby, they can't see the damage that their actions are going to do to other men in America. Because men's rights have already been restricted, excuse me, to the point where men are literally chafing at oppression in this gynocentric Jim Crow. And what they want to do is they want to further curtail men's rights, and then they want to get access to resources by saying that they're victims through damages. Because the women of the Me Too and the Time's Up movement, this case is not about sexual assault and sexual harassment. It's really about trying to further impose gynocentric Jim Crow on men of all races and restrict men's rights of all races. But this racist prosecutor and this racist judge, they can't see the bigger picture as related to the rights of all men in America, and they can't see how this legal precedent is going to be used against all men in America because they're too all in their feelings about trying to destroy a wealthy black man to see the damage they're going to do to all men of all races because once Bill Cosby is convicted of sexual assault based on such a very weak and flimsy case, what's going to happen is it's going to lead to women going out here and believing that they can try cases in the court of public opinion without using the courts for due process. And that the courts, in, in terms of due process, will just be a rubber stamp for whatever females have to say or whatever feelings they have without bringing in any sort of facts, logic, or reason to reinforce their case. So they're going to set a legal precedent which will weaken the courts and then allow the females to then come in and then use the courts as a battering ram to oppress men even further because they can come in with their allegations and then try to use them to secure judgments against not only men like your Harvey Weinstein, but also the corporations behind them in saying that these corporations were negligent and they should be held equally liable for whatever allegations of sexual harassment or sexual assault transpired you know, in their workplaces and their work environments, and the courts will then use the juries to then hand out multi-million dollar judgments to these alleged victims who are just using the courts as a way to get easy access to resources to take care of themselves in their older age. And this is what most people aren't understanding about this, is that many of the women who are making these allegations 
many of these women are older women who have fate whose career holly, attempts at a hollywood career have faded and they're using this victim platform as a way to get a last ditch effort at attention for themselves and hopefully look to get some sort of settlement from a movie studio or an individual or a judgment against an individual that will allow them to be taken care of in their old age and what will happen after this after bill cosby is possibly convicted in this case is that it's going to become next to impossible for men to do anything in society because their rights will be curtailed and those who walk around in society will be too afraid to do things in society out of fear of some sort of prosecution or some sort of punishment by law enforcement because we see this transpiring right now with office romances in decline and men keeping their distance from females in social situations and if the courts establish this precedent men are going to further pull back from their social interactions and more men are going to go MGTOW at work and MGTOW in social situations and that's going to lead to a complete decline in, act in communications and interactions between men and women. These racists think they're out to get Bill Cosby but what they're going to do long term is severe damage to the social fabric of America. As it relates to men and women, if we continue to push men further back to the wall, eventually we're going to reach a point where men are just going to finally get fed up and say enough is enough. And I'm looking at this situation right now, and more and more men are getting more and more angry and frustrated about things because they look at these women trying to further curtail their rights, further control their freedoms, and are using the courts as a tool to further curtail their freedoms and eventually things are going to reach a boiling point because eventually men are just going to say they've had enough when they look at these cases and the president is set to continue to oppress them and eventually they're going to say enough is enough as related to them because when I look at this case again I see it as a case that women are using to not put Bill, the racists are using this case to put Bill Cosby in jail but women are using this case as a way to get access to resources and restrict men's rights in America. And when I look at the big picture as related to that, we are getting to a boiling point where sooner or later, men are just going to say enough is enough. And after they go MGTOW, we're really going to see things completely collapse because once the MGTOW movement goes nationwide, we're going to see a completely different America because the economy is completely going to shift from a consumer base that benefits women back to another base that benefits men and then we're going to see a complete turnaround of things in this country. When I look at this whole Bill Cosby situation it clearly shows me what happens when racists are too blind to see the big picture related to things. They're all caught up in their emotions trying to get even with Bill Cosby without thinking about how their actions are going to affect the overall group of men in American society. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct publications like the Simp series, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.